Hey everyone, McKestro here. So today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some Elytra Plus settings and some tips on using Elytra Plus with impact. First, I'll start off with some basic settings. So under, oops, under Elytra Plus and mode, you got your base speed. I found 6.14 works stably pretty well. I've fallen out of the sky one time while using this speed. Now, I've gotten 6.33 to work sometimes, but at other times, it, it's really buggy. Here, I'll see if I, I'll see if it's going to be buggy or not. Okay, so I'm at 6.33 right now, and it's, it's working, and you can use 6.33, but I'll see if it, if I fall out of the sky here while flying at all. I'll fly around for a moment. Okay, so it doesn't seem to want to bug out. So you can use 6.33. Anything above that, it starts to kind of get wonky here. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You see how I just like instantly f f follow the sky, take damage. So 6, 6.33 is the limit. If 6.33 isn't working, just go a step down to 6.14. You'll see now 6.33 isn't working, so. Okay, so second tip, or second setting is up is 0 0.02. Now I'm going to show you that you can change this. You can, you know, raise it up a little bit depending on what you're doing. And this is a useful, this is useful. And I don't think down really matters. I haven't played around with down at all. Okay, so with the up speed, when you're holding shift, you'll like go up a little bit and you know if you're flying straight if you're flying straight it's you know just gonna like cause you to do that but if you're not moving at all and you're looking straight see how i'm not i'm not really falling down at all so it's like a good way to hold yourself in your spot, depending on where you're looking. Now, it is useful to turn it up a little bit when you're doing other things. So something I do when I'm searching for bases is I'll look down and I'll use the A and D key to strafe. But you'll notice I'm losing quite a bit of altitude really fast. So what you can do is I found that the max that works is... 0 .7, 0 0.07 and see how much I'm losing there now I'm I'm barely losing any so the up speed is useful to to um adjust depending on what you're doing mostly you're going to want to leave it at 0 0.02 though because you can use it while flying on another highways and stuff to if you like if you're looking down a little bit but it, it doesn't really work when you're when you're um looking at zero point or zero point zero five negative, so it does have its place and it doesn't. Now I'm gonna go into the nether and show you something else you can do to make highway flight a lot easier. Okay now, so I'm on the, the nether highway now and I'm gonna show you something if you're flying, if you're specifically flying down another highway, you know, I showed you guys about the, the macro to make it so you, you know, easily snap to, so that you're level and flying. But there is something else you can do if you don't feel like, you know, manually aiming, which I mean, will kind of ruin your height typically. All right, so what you can do is, impact and it, oops <laughs> so i didn't mean to go to search i meant to go to macros you can add another part to this this macro and what it is is all right and 
So I'm on the the negative negative X highway. So going away from spawn. So 90 degrees is what will snap me to this you know this exact point. <clears throat> and if you're going on another highway, you'll have to you know look and it'd be like 180, 270, 360. It all depends on the highway you're on. So instead of, so now, oops, I kind of messed that up. So now it, it not only snaps me to, you know, the, where I want to be looking to not lose as much height. It's also snapping me onto the same path as the highway is going. So, I mean, like, you're never gonna, I mean, some people are gonna be able to, like, look straight down the highway every time. I don't, it doesn't personally bother me that much. I don't use this macro, but it does make it, the quality of life of doing this, a lot easier. See, like, it just... If you like, if you're a little off, if you're like that, you'll, you know, you'll obviously, oops, I have killer on. You'll obviously, you know, just be right back in line the way you want to be traveling. Anyways, there's, that was the Elytra settings and a couple tips there for you. Hope this helps everyone out there using impact. I would like to thank everyone that watched this video all the way up until this point. If you like my content and feel like supporting me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking here. If you haven't seen and want to watch more of my content, my last 2B2 video can be found here. Otherwise, this is the video the YouTube algorithm recommends next. Thanks again and stay safe out there everyone.